What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. So it looks like Cardi B will at least win one of these court rulings. Uh, the court ruling about her traveling, you know, out for Paris Fashion Week. The gentleman that is suing her, um, he uh, brought that up. He wanted to uh, file a grievance that she committed perjury on the stand and lied and said she had to push back the court date because... She couldn't travel due to her being a new mom. And now, two weeks later, you know, she's over in, in Paris. So um, they filed the notion that, you know, Cardi B purchased herself. But the judges come back and ruled in favor of Cardi B. Uh, said that she did not, you know, violate anything that she said. You know, on the stand, Cardi B's attorney expressed that this was a last minute trip so it was not a trip that was already planned and if it was you know planned ahead of time they definitely would have knew about it so at least this one goes in Cardi B's favorite we'll see about the other pending lawsuits and charges I've always said from the beginning, I feel as though Cardi B will not do any jail time, regardless of which suits or charges go against her. I don't feel as though she'll do any jail time. And as far as the suit with the assault case, I believe that's going to end in some form of settlement where those girls will get money, you know, the high hundred thousands. They won't be millions. It might be one million for both of them to split, and then of course they gotta pay their attorneys and taxes or whatever else. But I don't feel as though that's gonna end in jail time either. Just due to the fact that Cardi B doesn't really have a record. Doesn't really have a jail record. And she also spoke upon why she no longer talks about politics, and I told everybody that I thought she should do this. I said, if she stops talking about politics and, you know, injecting herself in the stuff that does not have anything to do with her. Listen, these people say they want you to use your platform. But when you do to, to speak out against other things other than music and yourself. But then when you do that, you've seen celebrities do it over and over again. When they use their platform, and they talk out for something else. They always end up getting you know, dragged over it or they end up hurting somebody else's feelings in the process and then they're dragging you through social media and then the general public starts to turn on you. See, that is the same thing that happens to the Kardashians. The people say, oh, why don't they use their platform to talk about anything else other than their self? Then when they use their platform and talk about social injustice or police brutality against blacks, they say, oh, how would you know you're not black just because you're effing a black man don't make you black. Or they'll say, oh, they're just doing that for clout. So it's like as a celebrity, there's really no way of you winning. You're going to lose no matter what decision you make. So that's why you just don't say nothing. If people want to get mad at it, you can just simply say, what Cardi B said, nope, I got dragged and bullied not only by Republicans, but by people that I was sticking up for. So whenever something comes out, you just sent a general response. If something negative happens, social injustice or what have you, you just put yours out there. Prayers go out to the family. You know, we've seen too much of this. This has to stop. You know, I wish peace for the family. And then that's it. You don't say anything else. That's the only way you can stay clear. You know, at least people could say, well, she did speak out. But that's uh, what I have for you today. Cardi B, the judge rules in her favor in the court filing. And she speaks on why she no longer talks about politics 
It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.